When I was a kid, I tried not to think about earthquakes. I knew they were violent and deadly. Many of us had experienced them in the past, yet no one really talked about it. Istanbul, our home, is one of the most vulnerable cities in the world. There is a two out of three chance of an earthquake hitting us in the next 15 years, so we all live with this ticking in the back of our heads. As I grew older, I started to wonder what actually causes earthquakes. Why do they happen so often here in Turkey? That was when I started to discover the world under our feet. Tectonic plates inspired me to study geology. They are ancient pieces of moving earth, millions of years old. They created Istanbul's topography and its beautiful coastline, including the Marmara Sea. You could even say that Istanbul developed as a city because of plate tectonics. But they also cause earthquakes. The most destructive quakes occur along the edges of moving tectonic plates. And in Istanbul, a dangerous fault line, the North Anatolian Fault, lies under the sea, only 20 kilometers away. Why do earthquakes occur here? Along this fault line, the slow and constant plate motion sometimes gets stuck and pressure builds up. Under enough stress, the fault ruptures and both plates slip, releasing their stored energy as shock waves. During earthquakes, faults shift many meters in only a few seconds, creating violent tremors on the surface of the Earth. Over the centuries, Istanbul has been shaken by many large earthquakes. They have become a part of our history, our culture. But the North Anatolian Fault not only cuts through Istanbul, but across our entire country, and countless villages, towns and cities, home to millions of people, all lie along its path. In recent decades, seven major earthquakes occurred in succession along the North Anatolian Fault. Starting in the east, the released stress moved along the fault line like a series of falling dominoes, increasing the probability of a quake further west. In the 1990s, scientists expected an earthquake close to Izmit, but they didn't know exactly when it would strike. It was the 17th of August, 1999. I remember the deep sadness and frustration of my parents who went to help survivors. The death of almost 18,000 people could have been prevented through safer construction, more prevention, and also through better science communication. As geoscientists, we feel certain that in the coming decades, the result of a 60-year-long chain reaction will reach Istanbul. This serves as both a warning and an opportunity. We know how to build an earthquake-proof city, but we also need to adapt to disasters in ways that are more sustainable, socially responsible and transparent than what we're doing now. Earthquakes are not just a matter of scientific facts and better engineering. They raise questions about how the city we all want to live in should be designed. I remember that my father said, earthquakes don't kill people, collapsing buildings do. We now know that it's not only buildings, but a lack of preparation from each of us, even though it's so easy to take action. Get an earthquake backpack ready. Learn how to make your home more resilient. Find out what to do during and after an earthquake. Curious how this works? <laughs>